Yes, it's a very exciting time as Football Manager 2024 is just it's just around the corner. But Sports Interactive has kindly given me access to the alpha version where today I'll be able to break down the new tactical roles, tactical tweets, but also the match engine improvements. So whether you're a seasoned vet or just starting out on the game, it does not matter. You will not want to miss today's feature video and by the end of today's video as well i will get your creative juices flowing and prepared for fm24 do you think you're ready do you hmm. we now have the inverted fullback slightly different to the inverted wingback defensively the inverted fullback will function more like a standard fullback however while a fullback would offer width to the attack the inverted fullback will look to tuck inside after the build-up phase acting like an additional central defender as a result of this movement the inverted fullback will not seek to make overlapping attacking runs as often or to deliver crosses from higher up the pitch instead they will focus more on providing defensive stability against counter attacks now like i mentioned this role is different to the inverted wing back of course it is otherwise they wouldn't have added it into the game and the only duty available for this role is defend when building out from the back they will transition from full back to central defense adding an extra central defender and rarely moving forward to support attacks this strategy can help create early overloads while building out from the back most possession based preset tactics will now include this new role and you may also spot possession based managers employing this tactic against your team therefore be cautious of these tricky maneuvers. The Match Engine team recently made some changes to the game and you can now use a libero in a back four as well. Think John Stones moving from the right side of the central defense into midfield in real life. This change shows the improvements made to the Football Manager 24 Match Engine. It comes with two duties, defense and also support on defense they will still look to push forward but on support they will look to take more risk with their passing and movement however if you are going to use this libero role be careful not to make the same mistakes i did i tried this role out without thinking about my fullbacks and of course it didn't work out because the libero wanted to push into midfield and that left just one central defender as somewhat advised in football manager the role is often combined with an inverted fullback to ensure there's enough central defenders in the system at all times so in my southampton system i am using libero on defend but i'm also making sure i've got enough defenders back by using that inverted fullback so here's a libero on the ball now he's going to pass it out wide to the winger larios is our inverted fullback so the two players are kind of highlighted stephens and larios so here is the fullback on the ball now plays it down the line to the winger small bones on the ball but you can see the libero he's pushing forward as he does larios our fullback has moved inside alongside the center back and that was a good chance this it's from the same game but of course it's a different build-up situation in football not every situation is going to be the exact same so here's small bone back to now our inverted fullback but now you can see how deep and narrow he is he's almost playing alongside that right side of center back not almost he literally is and our libero has stepped into midfield to form a double pivot with our actual pivot player now we've originally got two pivot players but one has moved forward allowing that space for our libero to push forward we've spoken about how positional play has been improved in football manager and how now you will notice more fluid movements from players in certain roles which can help you progress the ball forward the inverted wing back role has also seen great improvements if you want your left back or your right back to play in a pivot alongside the cdm that is exactly what you will get i chose to mention this role because on observation it can be useful in both attack and defense for instance if your right back has gone forward and you now have five players attacking you might think you're vulnerable at the back but your inverted wing back will also be in a good position to stop or delay the opposition's attack in short we can all play like pep guardiola now okay I'll stop with the licensed Manchester City comparisons. <laughs> there has been some significant changes made to the winger role and also the wing back role that are worth noting. Previously, the winger role was limited in running wide with the ball, but now 
you can choose to ask your winger to cut inside with the ball. This is brilliant. This is a brilliant new feature that allows your right winger or left winger to hold their width like a traditional winger during the build up and attacks, but then cut inside with the ball towards goal when they do receive the ball at feet rather than continuing running down towards the byline. Similarly, the wing back role allows you to do the exact same thing. Yes, you can ask your wing back now to cut inside with the ball. How great, how brilliant. Now these new fancy roles and tweaks are incredibly helpful, but there is one golden rule that you must know and it's very important. Central positions such as central defense, defensive midfield, central midfield and attacking midfield, they are designed to have maximum of three players occupying on the same line. This means the central defense strata can have a maximum of three players occupying that space. Put simply, if you have three defensive midfielders on support, there is now no room for your libero to push forward into this area that you want your libero to do, because that would mean there's four players, which is, I'm sorry, way too much. But now, if I do change my left-sided defensive midfielder to a Segunda Volante on attack, for example, in play, he's going to be looking to do this, vroom, vroom, get forward. This now leaves space for our libero to push forward into that defensive midfield area. And now, again, this makes three. The maximum. The maximum of three players can occupy this line. Important. So, here are the roles that do trigger those rotations. In defense, the inverted wing back will move from full back to defensive midfield. The inverted full back, which is a new role, will move from full back to central defense. And the libero would move from central defense into defensive midfield. Now, moving into the midfielders, the half back will move from DM to center back. Now, the half back also had a nice little tweak as well. Your half back now will look to move into this sort of space here between your left back and your left side of centre back. So tactically, if you have your left back moving forward from going forward, your half back can now drop in and cover. And again, it can make a nice, beautiful back three. Segundo Falante will move from a defensive midfield into attacking midfield, something that we may have been familiar with already. The Roman playmaker will move from defensive midfield into central midfield and in attacking midfield. That might depend on your system. The box to box will move from um, central midfield into attacking midfield. Central midfielder on attack will move from CM to AM. Now, the central midfielder on attack is the only role that requires a specific duty to trigger the rotation. Central midfield on support and on defense do not force rotations. Advanced playmakers like to move from central midfield into attacking midfield and the Mazala will go from central midfield into attacking midfield. Here's some other important notes that you must digest when looking to create your tactic in FM24. For another one. In this system here, my defensive midfielder, Segundo Volante, is on attack and he's looking to move into attacking midfielder. He would operate this right half space, but your central attacking midfielder, he wouldn't just stand there in the middle. No, 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 no. He's going to shift over nicely as well and he's going to occupy the left half space, all a part of positional play. And now you can occupy each zone. You've got the left flank, the left half space, the striker occupying the center. Now the Segundo Volante attacking the right half space and then you've got your right winger out on that right flank. Some roles take priority when two players are trying to occupy the same space. The inverted winger and the Mazala combo for an example, the Mazala will take the priority. If he moves and goes into that right half space, he is going to take priority over that area, that space. Your winger will stay wide and he will wait for that movement, that opportunity to slot in. There is no on and off switch for these rotations. They will happen if you choose to use these roles. So when you are designing in your tactic keep that in mind it's all about the roles that you are choosing as well preset tactics have been tweaked as well and a new role the inverted fullback will come with a lot of these tactics for tiki taka example you can see here in the 433 if i confirm it the inverted fullback is already selected and he is now he's going to be a main figure in this new game lastly this was an observation that I made 
and around my second off a game actually playing. Last year, I found it interesting when my team were pressing in a 4-3-3 formation. I wanted my central midfielders to support my attackers in pressing the opposition, but there was always this awkward distance between them. However, this no longer has been an issue in a 4-3-3 formation, or I've even noticed it with my DMs in a 4-2-3-1. Your central midfielders can now jump and press to support your attackers. But be cautious, don't assume that high pressing in a 4-3-3 or 4-2-3-1 is overpowered. You need to ensure that you have the players capable of the job, otherwise you may see your team get sliced open like Kimbo. <laughs> unfortunately though that is the end of today's video make sure you go and check out the other football manager content creators especially omega loose because there might just be a secret in there as well so make sure you go and check it out go and check out everyone's video thank you to football manager for allowing me to have this early access of the alpha version i'm going to stress that the alpha version and i shall see you guys